Hello, I'm Hyung Jun Jo. I'm from Industrial Design Department of KAIST, Korea. I'm the first author of this pictorial and I hope everyone enjoyed to see our work. Today I will present our research through design on IOTizer. Let me show you the 30 seconds video first. This is the IOTizer, what I will present today. I want to share why we designed it, how we designed it, and what we learned from designing it. You can find the full version of this video in YouTube, so if you're interested, please look for it. Let me start from the background of our work. The reason of difficulties on deploying IoT product is it requires a lot of cost and time. People want to keep their existing product because it still works well. Internet of old things, which means existing ordinary products that augmented on IoT experience, is one of effective solutions for such problem. To create Internet of All Things, David Dobb proposed mechanical hijacking using actuators to replace human manipulation of physical interface. Several mechanical hijacking devices were proposed, however, they could not drastically facilitate the Internet of All Things. Each to use products were limit users' opportunities. On the other hand, versatile systems required advanced skills. So in this pictorial, we introduce easy to use and versatile MHD and how user perceive on it. To identify the requirements of versatile MHD, we analyzed products in domestic environment. Using 700 293 photos from 19 households as a data, we drive three design aspects, which are motion pass, form of the interface, and movability of product. We use this design space for judging the versatility of MHD in terms of attachment method and the movement. Please refer to our pictorial for detailed explanation of the uh, three aspects. There was a series of design explorations for designing versatile MHD. At first, we planned to design tiny modules for each interface component and to assemble them with custom mounting plate and the design tool for support users to easily create a mounting plate. However, there were so many products that have dense layout of interface, so making tiny module was so challenging. We also concerned the low robustness and low finishing quality of DIY approach. Anyway, we recognized the necessity of one for all device, so we examined a finger-shaped device that had various movements. Various mechanisms were tested, however, such shape could not generate enough force to manipulate the interface. We need the free movement, but also structure that minimizes the loss of the power. So the final design is look like this. We were inspired by a 2D plotter machine that can move freely and transmit force effectively. For space efficient installation and aesthetics, we decided to use polar coordinate mechanism. It rotates and stretches to reach its intended position. With the tip mounted on the distal end, IOTizer presses, drags, or rotates the physical controller. IOTizer can be installed on products with various shapes by using the modularized holder. There are seven types of holders and the figure shows five among them. To manipulate the interface other than the push type, such as knobs or sliders, we designed the docking handle to be attached to the interface. The tip docks to these link-shaped parts so the IOTizer can perform rotate or drag type manipulations. Software is developed as web application so that users can easily access with any kind of device. It has portal based intuitive interaction. For example, user can register the new device by taking a portal and command to the device by touching the portal. 
Also, easily create the shortcuts for desired sequential manipulation with the photo. Registered devices are displayed in a gallery page, so user can effectively manage multiple devices. As mentioned before, IOTizer can easily install and register. After that, it can be used in two modes. User can remotely control the products by direct touch to the portal, or it can memorize the sequence of multiple controls and user can utilize it as a shortcut. We implemented the whole system of working prototype. Please refer to our pictorial for detailed explanation for implementations. For summary, we used three motors and Arduino board on hardware parts, and the software parts developed based on JavaScript. After the designing IOTizer, we collected feedback from target users via a technology probe study comprising co-creation and infrared semi-structured interviews. This study was conducted for two reasons. First, verify if IOTizer is accepted by real users as the exemplary of versatile MHD. Second, we want to understand the opportunities and challenges of MHD for creating Internet of Old Things. We recruited 14 participants from 8 households and visited them. We first introduced the IOTizer through videos and working prototypes. Then we co-created two or three Internet of Old Things cases using products in users' homes and the mock-up kit. Participants could experience the installation and initial setup process. And then we did an in-depth interview. We created a total of 18 cases. Co-creation research shows that IOTizer can be used in a variety of products. The versatile MHD can support users to obtain a variety of IoT experience without product replacement. These experiences are not new, but they are worthwhile in that users can create desired functions when they need. In addition, Versatile MHD is expected to provoke users to actively imagine and implement various personal scenarios. Overall, MHD is a cost-effective and eco-friendly alternative for IoT technology. Also, rather than simply an alternative technology, Versatile MHD allows high-level customizations to users and is expected to be helpful in exploring their needs and preferences. However, making the MHD versatile, easy to use, and want to use is still challenging. When installing and using, stability and usability should be considered more carefully, and a technology that can be integrated with the existing IoT ecology is required. We hope that our work will inspire researchers and designers to envision a better IoT environment where past conventions are preserved. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening and welcome any questions or feedback.